Hi, welcome back my dear students. In this lecture here, we are going to be actually creating some more HTML CSS so that way you have a little bit more idea on how this is done, all right? I just figure after I made all the lectures, why not give my students a little more so they can have more examples that they can look at, right? So let's go ahead and right now, if I open my HTML folder, it might look a little different from what you got. Uh, it, might, it might look the same as what you got in your exercise files, all right, since I put numbers these numbers in front of it are the lecture numbers, all right? So don't worry about that. It doesn't matter. I'm going to create a new folder in this HTML folder. I'm going to call this practice because that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to do a little, some practice examples there. And inside this folder, I'm going to create another folder called CSS and images. And I'm going to copy from the CSS in the HTML, I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to right click it and copy styles to, and let's go to practice folder. And on the CSS folder, I'm going to paste it in there. And let's see, we got some images here. I got my image there. So um, I'm going to go get another image. How about that? Let's get this bootstrap image that I like very much right there. And I'm going to go back to that folder, to images, to practice folder, and then images, and then paste it in there. I'm going to rename this. And again, you don't have to do this with me if you don't want to. Um, I recommend it, though. Image1.jpg, okay? So check your exercise files to see if you might have some images there and in the images folder, all right? So now that we have that, I'm going to also copy the blank.html to that folder because basically what we're doing, we're creating like a new site, basically a new place where we can, you know, do some practice exercises. So I'm going to open our co-editor. Let's open it up. I'm going to do this update later, right? <laughs> so what I want to do is because I got uh, too many files here, I'm going to drag this practice right here and that's just gonna give me a blank slate here so that I can work with right so on this blank HTML right I want to link I want to link that style sheet right there on that folder so I gotta put the CSS forward slash style that CSS all right so make sure that you copy this down if you want if I went too fast, now remember that just, we just made a, a different folder right here called practice. I put the CSS folder inside and the images folder in the blank.html. Right? Now I'm linking my blank.html with the style.css and I'm going to do a save as with my keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to call this, what do you want to call this? Um, I don't know. Let's call it page one. How about that? Or let's call it picture picture practice practice all right that's fine so let's right now so that that should give you an idea of what we're going to be doing all right so what I want to do is I want to see some of this thing in the browser so I'm going to put an h2 here and I'm going to say as a matter of fact let's change the title here and call this picture practice right and I'm gonna I want the people to see that to see this too. Picture practice. There we go. Let's go back and see let's see the let's see this on the browser. I'm just gonna right here. There we go. Alright. So I don't like the title there on the all the way on the left side. That's the default style that the browser gives it. So I'm going to go to my style.css in, inside the CSS folder right here. And I'm going to delete all this. I'm going to press Command or Control A and then my delete key. All right. So now I have this. Let's go back to it. This picture practice right here. And what I want to do is I want to move it. But I want I want to give this an, I, an ID. All right. So let's go ahead and practice some of the CSS that we learned, right? So let's give this a title. 
So let's call this page title actually, page hyphen title. There we go. Let's go to style.css and let's target this right here, page hyphen title. And what I want to do is I want to center this on the window here, right? On the screen. I don't want to see that like that. So text and my short and my core editor is already telling me that I can choose this keyword right here, this uh, property. So I just clicked it with my mouse and I chose it. Center. And now if you look at it, it's centered, right? So now that's centered. That's beautiful. Now what I want to do is I want to go back to picture practice. And I'm going to create a container here. So I'm going to create a div. I'm going to give this an ID of container. All right, you can be a little more specific and you can put picture container if you want. Hyphen picture container. And I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back. I'm going to save it. Make sure that you save your file with Command S or Control S. Go back to this. And because it's an ID, we got to put the pound sign there, right? Pound sign, paste it. Open your curly brackets. Put your cursor right in the middle so you can bring it down like this. All right. Now, I want to put some borders around it so that way I can see what in the world is going on, right? So I can see that when I type border, I can see all these options here. I'm just going to click on the first one. It's going to put a colon for me. And if I put one pixel, all right? And then solid black. This is going to create a, a it's going to create a, a border around the diff. But now you can't see the diff. Why? Well, the first thing is because we don't have no height or no width. Right? So that's why you can't see it. So let's go ahead and create a width on it. So I'm gonna click on width right here. And the width is going to be I don't know, 400, sounds good. There we go. And let's create a height. Height would be 400. Let's make it like this. Oops. There we go. Now refresh here. All right. Perfect. Right? So if we take this off now, we will be able to see this line here, though. All right? Just keep that in mind. But you won't be able to see the, the border around. All right? So I'm just going to undo it. Perfect. So now we see this like this. And now, but it's not straight, right? I mean, we have this div going all the way down. I think we put too much height. Uh, yeah, we messed up the height right here because we have the PC. So pixels right here. There we go. So now, all we got to do is center this division, right? This container on the screen. So let's center it. The way we center element, block level elements, is we use margin. All right, and margin, the margin has four properties, four values that you can put in there, right? We have the top, the right, the bottom, and the left. And the way you do that is margin hyphen right, all right? And if you put your, your you start writing margin, you can see that the editor already tells you all the available properties for that, all right? If you leave it like this, this is going to create a margin all around the four corners. All right. So you can you can also use the values like this in twos or threes or fours. So you can say four, 40, 40. And you can see them moving right here on the left side. Let me just close this a little bit so that way you can see it. And if I say 60, you can see it moving and 100. See that or 10. So you can put all the four the values, or you can put these two values here, top and bottom. All right. What we want to do is, I want to say margin zero. All right, auto. Look at that. So what that did is that it created no margin on top or bottom, and then the left and the right are gonna be auto, meaning they're gonna be the same width. All right, so that will center the element right on the screen, right? That is perfect, isn't it? So that's how you center that. Now, let's go ahead and put that picture in the middle. So let's go back here, and let's get that picture in there. We have the container, and there are two ways we can get the picture. We can get the picture doing it 
put in the picture right here, put in the reference of the picture, or doing it through CSS. I'm going to show you the two ways, all right? So the first way, we create that image element, right? And let's do the source. The source is images, and we call that image image1.jpg, right? So we go back and we refresh. Now that image is there. Now that image is huge. Of course, because that image right now is going its full width. So it came out of that container, All right? So if we want that image to be 100% of that container, we need to create an ID here and put image maybe, and then go back to CSS and try to see if we can adjust the width of that image, right? So let's go back to style.css and let's manage the image. So this is how you can manage elements like this. Let's go right here and width. And let's check it out. Let's see if we can do 100%. Let's see what that does. Let's go back and refresh. And as you can see, that image is 100% of the container. All right? So that's how you can put images in there. Now, let's take out the height in this container right here. And you can actually comment this out if you want to, like this. All right? And let's look at it. And now you can see that that took the height of the image. Now, if we want to, we can go ahead and right click on this and find out why we have this space right here, right? We have a little space here that is actually kind of kind of annoying, right? So let's check it out. So let's do inspect the element on it and let's check out what this space really is. So I'm going to put my mouse there to where, let me just make this a little bigger there. All right, so let's open this div. Let's go to the image and we don't see anything here going on, but we see something going on there. I can see a different color right here. And if I go to the right, I see that we have a border here going on. So that's what's creating that little space there. So right here, you can see that if I unclick this, I create a border. I mean, I create a border and I take it off. Now, this is a really nice trick right here. You can style your whole page right here. And let me show you how you can do that. So if I want to style this picture container, I can say border and the spec element will help me out. Border two pixels solid red right here so you can see that I can start styling the page right here all right and I can say maybe padding and you can play around with this and this is what actually will help you out as a matter of fact all right so you can see we created some padding and padding is just space inside that border all right and then you can say background maybe a black color and now you're gonna create a background inside that picture container. And because we have a space here inside, you're gonna see the background of the container. Now, if you wanted all these styles, all you have to do is select all of them and with your keyboard sh shortcuts or your keyboard, your, your keys on your keyboard, set Command C or, co or Control C to copy it. And then you go back here to your picture container and you can write it down. You can paste it right there. I'm just gonna select it and left angle bracket. Well, not left angle bracket, the left bracket, left a square bracket, sorry. All right? So save it. And if you have some type of other ones here, you can delete them if you want. But I'm just gonna leave it there so that way you can see the how CSS works, because we are overriding this styles right here with this one here. All right. So save it, come back here, and refresh it, and now you can see that it stays like that. But now these styles here that we were doing right now, this inspect element, are only temporary. All right, so whatever you do here, if you refresh it, you will lose that. So for example, I'm going to take this off, I'm going to refresh it, and you can see that, right? Now if I come back here and I paste that here, I get the same results again, right? But look what happens if I refresh. It's gone. This right here, whatever you do here is temporary. It's happening live right there. So this will only apply, this element that style here, this user agent, what he's doing is, is that it's applying to this specific element that we got selected right here. So if I go to the image ID right here, this that element that style will equal that element. 
So whatever element I put my mouse over, that's what's going to be element that style right here. Now, if you click this plus right here, if you put your, you click here on your picture container and you click plus, you will see that the user agent types in the diff plus your ID that you have in that specific container. And now you can go ahead and paste that in there. All right. Sometimes I find this better to do because that way if I go to image and I click on this, I have all this right here and I can go and say something like maybe um, border and solid red. I put a border around the image. As you can see right there, I put a border around it. And I can do something like border hyphen radius to make the rounds uh, round. Now, it's not going to do it right now because this is an image. It's just you can't round the corners there. But you can round the corners when you have um, all the type of things. But right, actually, we can actually do the round images. I'm sorry, I had the right the wrong one there let's just round it up there we go let's see that now we can round that up you see that we can round the round up the borders around the image now the image itself of course now we have to go to Photoshop to do that all right so you can see that we can round that up now if I wanted this the reason why I like the plus sign that like I was saying is because now that I have this ID here I can go back to my style.css and Instead of this, I can go ahead and, of course, I got to leave that width there, but let me just give you an idea. I'm going to go back down here. Right now, if I refresh, that's gone. We know that, All right? But if I come here and I paste that in there and refresh, you can see that I can keep that style there, All right? Now, of course, I have this border here that's kind of messing everything up, but... All right. Actually, that's the red one. It was another border. All right. But anyway, you can see how we can go ahead and and do things with it. All right. With inspect element. So let's just go ahead and remove this border here. Make this a little prettier, right? And I'm gonna leave that like that for you in your in your exercise files. All right. I'm gonna update the exercise files and leave it the same way it is right now that way you can have an idea now it's a little messy here if you want to go ahead and, and take this off like this now another thing that I wanted to explain to you is that you can actually you can write it like this also you can write the, basically what this is doing this is the ID right here so we can target the image like this with the ID we gave it in the HTML or we can target with a tag and then put what we're saying here right is that Whatever tag you find that is an image, whatever image you find that has an ID of image, I want you to do this to it. And that's what we're saying with this here. It's more specific. Now, what this is saying here is that whatever ID you find with the, with the ID of image, whatever ID with this it called image you find, do this. So this was actually more specific, uh, the, uh, the one we had before, this one, all right? So if we want to really target things, you can use this format here. But they both work the same almost. All right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. Hopefully that gave you an idea how to do a couple things. Uh, on the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to actually do it, how to insert the images from the CSS, CSS itself without putting it in the HTML file. All right, we're not going to need this anymore. We're going to delete it, and we're going to do it from the other side. I'm going to show you a couple more tricks. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture, and i see you in the next practice example.